Welcome to the channel. We're out on the screen patio. We're going to finish this up today. Uh, yeah, it's got to have strips all the way around because these things are blowing out left and right on me. You just can't squeeze them in there and they'll stay. So all I'm doing is I'm going to cut some probably one inch wide strips. I may go all the way around and one across because this wind is just torturing these things, man. And I'm sick of putting them back in. I was going to do that in the first place. Uh, plus, that's going to cover up these ugly little bad cut lines. I'm going to try some different things to cut these. Well, I only got to cut one more. So, no big deal. I've got the saws all ready to go. And I might be able to cut some of that with that table saw. I'll try a little sample piece, see how that does. But those are to rip down some of these scrap boards into one inch pieces. Yeah, whatever I can find. And uh, I'm just going to tack them in with some brad nails. Uh, just to pull, or I can pull them out real easy with a screwdriver in the spring. So right now I'm waiting for them to bring in the sheaves over there at the church before I start up the saws. And then we're going to get started. And I want to get this room. I want to get that finished up, get this room straightened up, and uh, then I'm going to start, not today, but this week, I'm going to, I'm starting to go into the dog apartment. I want to start working on that. All right, let's get started here in a minute. Why are you picking up and running? You guys are soaking up the sun. Then it appears Miss Libby appreciates a good biscuit. Yeah. Well, you're not even in it, goofball. You're... You're using it for a pillow. You were in it. Uh, she was in it earlier. Well, at least she ain't tearing it up like Waldo does. All right. The sheaves are not in yet. So I'm putting something in the crock pot. We'll be out of here shortly. Yeah. Might as well take advantage of these saws being out. And anything else needs cut up. We'll do all right there was not one ounce of wind till i pulled this out of the shed we'll see note to self do not buy any more cheap Chinese Chinese pans. The little clicker don't stay down. Yo man, don't be playing music. Get me a copyright strike. There's always something around here. Y'all gotta move, you're in my way. Right, somebody had said use a bread knife. So we're gonna see if that works. Using a bread knife. Is that bread knifey enough for you? We'll see. How did I do this last time? <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, it will. Wow, it ain't burning. frustrating not having you know a proper area to work I gotta work on that this is horrible look 
guess it works. Alright, this is... Oh, I don't need that piece. I need this piece. Alright. 39 and a half. That way. Have these little dingleberries everywhere. It's actually a pretty nice day out. A little cool. This is a very unusual, unusually cold November. We don't usually have temperatures this low. Start cutting the doobie doobies. The doobie doobies that go around. That's all I know. The doobie doobies. Alrighty then. Alright, I've got about 10 of these one by two strips. I had them stored. And then they're going to be perfect. So I think I'm going to just cut them in 10 inch pieces. And that should be plenty. It'll be two on the sides, one on the bottom and top. And that should keep it from going anywhere. We will see. I don't want to buy any more of this. There's no sense in making them full length. They don't need to be.
It may be a little dark in here. Let me just show you what I'm going to do. There's no reason to make this any more complicated than it, it needs to be. So I'm just taking these blocks. I'm going to put... I'm not worried about that two-piece. We're just going to put one here on the top. One push in there. Two of them, man. It's all we need. I'm gonna put one up here. Yeah, they ain't going anywhere. Another one here. Obviously, they can't go out, so that's keep the wind from pushing them inward and knocking them out. Not going for beauty. The way in the spring, I just take a slotted screwdriver, put them in there, they pop out real easy. You can take a pair of pliers, the, the little nails, they come out real easy. Simple. And I could probably get away with less of these. Man. We get some bad winds here. And uh, I don't want to have to mess with them. Uh, now these ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. I need to get some of this junk out of my way. Not right, this one. I put this one back in 362 times this week. I ain't put it in no more. Try not to get the crack going here. Y'all can't even see. All right, let's go to this window. Yeah, I know it's dark in here. Nothing I can do about that. Obviously, it's dark. I'm covering the windows, right? All right, so one up top. Two on the side. I should at least try to make them even, huh? <laughs> make them look close. But I didn't look at that. And some people have asked, why, why are you doing this and not working in the dog apartment? And the simple reason is, there's stuff in there that's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work in here on things to do in there and I don't want to be in here with wind 12 not 12 degrees blowing in my face so the, the warmer I could get the better plus you know it's what I'm choosing to do I'm choosing to do this first I still do not have enough wire to do in there so I'm waiting on that you know I spent a fortune on this whole build and the funds are gone so I got it now I got to get things as I get the money so I have enough wire to do the laundry room, but I also need, I'm gonna need you to buy me another roll to come out here. I need to get a couple lights in here and another outlet. And uh, I'll get that here in a week or so. That's another reason, you know. Same, same answer for why I haven't built, why I'm not building a carport. <laughs> that takes a lot of money and I don't have it. And I, and, I, and I ain't asking for nothing. I don't want anything. I'm doing it on my own. But uh, that's why. Here it is, I get it, man. That's how I built this whole house. A hundred bucks, fifty bucks at a time. I'm not, I'm not impatient. But I get it. All right. These are not going anywhere. And this is going to take a lot of these. I'm glad I found some. But before I got the table saw out, I can I can cut some of these up. All right. I didn't think it was going to take that many. It did. Now right, let's move on. windows I gotta put two across the top and bottom. That ain't 
ain't no big deal. Oh, that fountain has a pain. I don't know if y'all can see it, the one with the pelicans or whatever. I got uh, one of them cords from those blinds stuck in there the other day. I about never got that out. I should have never put these fountains together because some of them, that one's still got a little water in them. I don't want them to freeze. So I got to get whatever I'm doing in here done. All right, let's move on to this one. Pretty boring stuff, but it's got to get done. This is a tight quarters to work in here, guys. I got to keep my eye on this GoPro. Yesterday was my longest walk I've done. I did nine laps, recorded every bit of it, even did special shots. I get to the computer, put the card in. The only thing on the card was the intro. It was on photo. I had a bunch of photos. It was on photo, not video. Boy, I was mad. Whole video went to waste. I couldn't put a video up yesterday. That's been more than once that's happened. When you're walking, man, it's hard to pay attention to that. Should have enough of these to finish these. We got two more to go. Yep, I got two here. Three here. These two are this one. Kept blowing out, blowing out. I need one more. Here. Now it's, this isn't really to insulate the whole room. It's to keep the wind out, and it, it, it does warm it up a whole lot more. It's amazing how much it actually does warm it up in here. All right, I'm going to finish these next two. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do after that. I'll probably, it's too cold to do any of the spray foam. Like in that corner I need to fix. And silicone is too cold for that. It won't set up. But we'll get something going. We'll make a video out of it, man. Just don't you worry. Get out of my way. Right. Last one. That it never was the Cadillac kind. Now, if I was living somewhere maybe in a neighborhood that had like an HOA, this probably wouldn't fly. But that's why I don't live in a neighborhood with an HOA. Life is good. Ain't gonna have it. So many Miss Goody Two Shoes coming around saying, you can't plant those kind of flowers. They just don't meet up with our standards. That's right.
live in a DWW. Do what I want. <laughs> All right, we're going to see how that works. And the, and the only thing I can see happening if the wind is so strong that the force of the center of it wants to blow it in. And if that's the case, then I'll lay a strip across the middle, but I don't see I don't see it being that bad. So that didn't take long at all. And you know, it's just temporary. It's coming down in the spring. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna hang those sheets. Well, I don't know, I may hang them back up just to keep them out of the way. I don't have anywhere just to store them. I've just got them all hanging here. But before I had the eye hooks inside here and there was that big gap I'm going to do like I did over there. I'm going to put them on the outside up high to where there's no gap. So now them things aren't going to be flopping in the breeze. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Get them things hung up. So I don't have them laying around getting damaged. Uh, I'm not crazy about those things, but that will also help insulate. So why not hang them up? I mean, they're here. All right. I'll be back. That one is hung, and as you can see, now we don't have that gap at the top, and it looks so much better. And uh, it's going to look pretty good. And that, like I said, that's it's not going to insulate much, but that that also helps. You know, it's going to keep a pocket of air in there. It ain't going to hurt, and they're not laying around in my way. So we'll get them back on here once I get some proper lighting in here. Uh, it's going to be nice. Uh, either. I wished I would have got a ceiling fan. I can buy a light kit for that. The wires are there. I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, that way I'll have that light. And then I do have a couple more lights upstairs. Uh, that, But it's going to go on the outside. They're, they're like big barn lights. So I do need one. I'm going to have an outlet over here. And run that electrical for the light outside. Alright. Let me get the rest of these hung. We'll take a look at it in a little bit. All right, we got all these shades hung up. I like it. I should have hung them that way in the first place. There's no gap at the top. Now, these have gotten quite weathered just in the time they've been up. It's hard to keep anything nice with the weather here, you know, that's exposed. But I got all these hung back up. And, man, I'll tell you what, the temperature difference in here is unbelievable. Now, I think what I need to do is cut some of these scrap pieces up and uh, probably fill in up here as you can see there's gaps i'm not gonna silicone or do anything like that i'm just gonna squeeze some of them squares up in there uh, the ceiling there's two ways i could do it i could cut the pieces and go in between here now, i don't have that now to do that although i do got four pieces of this uh, or i could just go all the way across all of it in four by eight sheets that would probably be the easiest way, and then it'd be simple to remove it. Uh, you want to do some? I want to do something with it later. I don't have to do any of that really, but I've got the sheets. Might as well use something, you know. But I do need some in the dog apartment, though. We're going to be moving in there tomorrow, I believe, and I need to make sure I go to the hardware store before Thursday because I plan on working Thursday. I work every holiday. I make it a point to. It's a good day to work, man. There's no traffic, you know, it's just a good day to work. Uh, I'm gonna have some soup or something. I ain't gonna, I don't do the traditional stuff. All right, man, we got this, and let me see what else I can get done. I need to get this cleaned up. Now, here's the wall board, I've had it stored inside here, it stayed real nice. And uh, that's gonna go in the dog apartment. Now, I still haven't 100% decided. That could go in the dog apartment. Let's go on in here. But I would like to make, when I move the washer and dryer out, you know, there's spots up there where that could go. Uh, like I said, I've got enough of this to finish. What do you guys want? Can I even make a movie without you guys trying to crash it? They don't want to see puppy dogs. They just don't want to see them. Yeah. Well, they might. I don't know. Look at you guys. Crushing in my beautiful insulation work. 
Then up there I'll have to trim that up, get that other 24 inch piece up. I think I'm gonna pull these down. That's probably the plan. That stuff's not very expensive. So I may pull these down and just run that foam up on here. That would look pretty good. I don't know. I just go all the way across it with the foam. And that just, you know, this is just a laundry room dog apartment. It doesn't have to have fancy walls. I'm not gonna put any walls or anything up here. Any ceiling, just put that foam board across it. That would be fine. And then, you know, I'll put the wall board on down below here. Uh, yeah, man, let's, let's figure something out. What do you say, Waldo? What do you want? Velvet wallpaper from the 70s? No, hey, 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 we're making a movie here. No buck sniffing. We're not going to have lava lamps and 70s velvet wallpaper. We're just, we're not doing it. Okay, first of all, I don't know where I'd find it. Second of all, you tear it up. Yeah, you're very soft and warm. And then there's Lily. She's a big pork ball. She's turning into a big pork ball. All right, let's see what else we can get done. All right, well, I got them little spaces there filled in at the top. I don't think that does much good, but it can't hurt. Got to get rid of these pieces somehow, so. Uh, and, you know, make a nice place for wasp to get in there and build them a little nice home. Yeah, condos. Yeah. So, that just kind of fills that little, and then they're not real tight fitting or nothing. Probably a waste of time. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to feed these dogs and see what else I can do. And there's a lot of spots yet need caulked. And a lot of work, you know, this is going to be one of them rooms that I can keep doing things to for years to come. Make it even nicer. It may, you know, may one day turn into where I can put windows that open up here, you know, where I can just shut the windows in the winter and this will be a fully insulated, useful room. So, I mean, we're not really far away from that now. All right, I've got these dingleberries all over me. I've got to de-dingleberry myself and get these dogs fed. I don't want none of these dingleberries falling off into the dog food. Let's take a look outside and see what we get. And I did put a piece down there on the bottom. I think it looks pretty good. We got all these done. I seen that video from before. These are just shadows from this thing here, so it kind of made it look weird. Eh, looks all right, I think. You know, the only thing that sucks is you can't see out, but I know what's out here. That's what dogs are for. They'll let me know if something's out here. And that will also help insulate the house as well. Because I don't have that wind blowing through there anymore, hitting that wall, you know. And so that, that can only help on the inside. And we got down to 18 degrees last night, and I'm still running that little fireplace heater. So that's pretty good, and it stays 70 degrees in there. All right, I can't wait to get this painted, waiting for a warm day. Uh, Man, it, we got we got most of it done. It's you know the main parts. All right. All right. Ain't got much daylight anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these tools put away. I know it wasn't a very long one, but it was something. At least I finished it up, and uh, I got plenty more to do. But I got to get ready and go do my walk. Like I said, I did it yesterday, recorded the whole thing, and nothing. So hopefully, I've been looking at this. Hopefully, I've got clips for this video. Sometimes these GoPros, if you don't keep an eye on them, man, they'll, you just touch something the wrong way, it switches the photo, and you ain't got no footage. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, if you want to, there it is, subscribe. Give me like, give me, I'm like, I don't care. Happy trails.